for some live girl chat. Please. <laughs> to the Real Daytime's Instagram page and use the hashtag GirlChatLive to join in on the conversation. Yes, please. All right, first up, if you get lucky enough to attend the Met Gala, Ugh. you always hope to make headlines for wearing an amazing dress. Mm -hmm. However, actress Scarlett Johansson's dress is making headlines for the wrong reason. Scarlett is being criticized for wearing a burgundy Marquesa dress to the gala Monday night due to the fact that one of the label's designers, Georgia Chapman, is the estranged wife of Harvey Weinstein. Scarlett, who has been a huge voice in the Time's Up movement in Hollywood, is actually the first A-list actress to wear Marquesa since the Weinstein scandal broke out. That's major. Yes, yes. it is. Georgina Chapman. Yeah. Yes, Georgina Chapman. Yesterday, Scarlett defended her dress choice in a statement to E! News saying, quote, I wore Marquesa because their clothes make women feel confident and beautiful. It is my pleasure to support a brand created by two incredibly talented and important female designers. So, <laughs> so ladies, do you think Scarlett should have opted for another dress for the gala? Or are people just making this out to be a big deal? I, I have a, a hard deal? time with the idea that somehow why is it always the woman's yeah. fault? Mm -hmm. This man did, it, I would even consider her a victim as well. Her husband did something god awful, god awful. And I would like to think that no woman is gonna be like, yeah, go, go rape women, like <laughs> tell your husband, go do that. Like, I, I just don't see that. And she clearly has stepped away from him. There's a difference if she was standing by his side and supporting him and backing him up, but that's not the case. She left him, she wants nothing to do with him, and I think it's unfair that we still somehow always find a way to blame the woman. Yeah. yeah. How? You. How is it her fault the thing I, is, that she married a dirty dog? Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> I can get behind the brand if and only if the brand shows that they are no way ever and ever will be complicit with what Harvey Weinstein and other male abusers have done. Correct. So that being said, Marquesa is a living legacy of a brand now. They have made a lot of their wealth, allegedly, from the start of Harvey Weinstein beginning their business. I mean, you have actresses like Felicity Huffman saying, I was forced to wear his dress, otherwise I was held back from my compensation. So somehow Harvey Weinstein had a hand dipped in the success that it is today. So what I see is, I yes, agree with still. you, we're not blaming the, the woman, we're not b blaming the designers, but I would like to see that the brand is, re is changed and it grows from what it is now. I, if I were in the house of Marquesa, I would actually suggest, guys, if we continue Marquesa, like it ain't no thing, she got divorced, great, but, it's almost like taking a rug and just covering the shattered glass that Harvey Weinstein and other male abusers have done. What if we rebranded Marquesa? What if we show you divorced him, you moved on, you stood up for the Me Too movement, you stood up for women worldwide? What would Marquesa look like today if it did the same? New name, new change, stand for the strength, and maybe even from that millions and millions of, of dollars that they've made, maybe give back to the Me Too movement, because I wear a dress that stands for resilience and also to give back to so the women. So you don't agree with point. her wearing the dress? So you don't agree? I don't agree with... You want to no, see a change, because, yeah. Yeah, I want to see that Marquesa is not the same Marquesa, because it is the same brand that has his stain. You can't remove that. Okay. The but, root of Marquesa but, but, started from Harvey Weinstein and his support. So I think she's great. She made her money. She's successful. They're super talented. But now rebrand. Now, Marquesa is done. That was a chapter of your life when you were married to him. Just kill Marquesa and then rename it. Rebrand it into I something guess. even stronger and better <laughs> and support the Me Too movement somehow. I just feel like as, yeah. like as a wife, and I can't speak for her. I'm just only trying to think for myself, yes. like how I would feel if I was put in that position. The embarrassment that you go through <laughs> of obviously now, no, not just knowing that your husband just cheated, but he's being accused of rape. I would think that she's already been, been heartbroken enough well, and then something that she created, and I get it that he backed her company, but at the end of the day, it's still her, her company. company. Yes. yes, and actually, and that's one why. of your, you love Diane von Burstenberg, yes. right? Diane von Burstenberg, she actually showed support for the brand saying it's disturbing when women are penalized for the crimes of an abuser. Yeah. And I personally didn't have an issue with it because I know Scarlett Johansson's stance on mm -hmm. the Me Too movement. I knew that she didn't put that dress on just uh, for nothing. She actually was making a statement. She was saying, okay, I, I support Marquesa because she is Harvey Weinstein's ex 
wife. When I see X in front of that wife, I'm not going to uh, judge her because of her past. I'm not gonna judge her because of what her her husband did. And also, we don't know what really went on in that relationship. I'm not making excuses for her for staying, but she could have been uh, a abused, too. a victim as well. And he, he, he controlled with the mind. So I'm proud that she got out. Yeah. And <laughs> I feel like she's supporting yeah. the fact that she got out, because yeah. she could stay yeah. by him, stay by that money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but yeah. I think, too, I think, with the rebranding, I, I kind of understand what you what you mean by that because then yeah. every time you say the name, You're it kind of reminds you of it. Yeah. And so, you know, that's... But yeah. I look at Scarlett as a ride-or-die friend. Mm -hmm. I mean, and yeah. she's strong and everything, and it's just, you know... <laughs> It's just a mess. <laughs> it really is. No, I don't know. That. You damned if you do, you damned it really if you don't. Yeah, you know? The whole situation yeah. is awful. Yeah. I mean, and I'm saying, don't. You could stay, keep the brand there. There are many places that will continue to carry Marquesa because it suits a certain client. Yeah. She's so successful, you guys, and she has the power, the talent, and the connections to build another brand that would show the re, the, the the new forthcoming, the new change right. of what Marquesa <laughs> has looked like since she's left the marriage and what she looks like. Like today. Yeah. She herself is not the same designer she was when she started the brand mm -hmm. and who she is today. So what does that woman look like today? We all know when we've come from broken relationships or broken past, that you call it the breakup bod, you call it, you know, whatever you say right. to rebrand yourself because you don't want anything of that old past. When we change ourselves, why can't we also change the associations we have around us? That is true. Yeah. I agree with that. I, I love the idea that you said of giving Give back. Money, money, yeah. I think that would be absolutely incredible if she took the money that they're now making and gave back to the yeah. Me, Too Me, Me Too movement. I think that would be amazing. That's like a combo of what we're yes. saying. Yes. But, but at, at the, the same, same time, time, she worked hard for Marquesa. Who, yeah. who create, and you, you would understand this. You've built brands and things. Yep. And obviously, yeah. Don't, when you go through a, yes. a divorce or a situation, if you, if that was your baby, would you mm -hmm. want to just be like, up, oh, change it, throw it out? No, yeah. no. no. I'd be like, that's my baby. Yeah. I, but you could keep your baby. You could keep yeah. it. I'm not saying get rid of it. The idiot husband. I would say just start something new and fresh, and actually maybe even a capsule collection. What if Marquesa's gonna nice. stay there the way it is? Start a capsule collection just to see. This is who I am as a designer, Georgina. I am a new woman. I stand up for the women, but beyond me too. I don't want you to guys, you guys, to taint the name of Marquesa with yeah. that old name. So I'm gonna create this for you, for the me too movement. This is what the house this of is that a special collection. Look at us creating the solutions on the real. I love like yeah. it. Now. But I like that. That's right. why conversations yeah. like this have right. to happen. Yes. We're thinking our thoughts too. I'm hearing what you're yeah. saying. You're hearing what I'm saying. What Absolutely. she's saying. And that's and why it's so great. Here. No, I'm no, no I guess because there's people that are like that too. Where yeah. you still you're still yeah. stirred about yeah. this. You want yeah. the time, but it's a yeah. great conversation yeah. to have. Well, from styling your dress to styling your hair, if you want to get your hair braided at your local salon, you better make sure you bring your Purse, mm -hmm. BET, <laughs> and Hollywood Unlock recently shared a viral video of a woman getting her braids cut out at a salon because she didn't have money to pay for the services, okay? <laughs> the video, which has been viewed almost a half a million times, was div divided on the internet. I mean, look at her. Now, ladies, the caption says, if you think, do you think if you can't pay the braids, should they go away? But like that though, <laughs> like for her to just well, like, she was cut mad. like that. Okay, yeah, she was uh, obviously was angry, and I know it takes a lot of time yeah. to put some braids in your hair. Sometimes it could take four to eight hours. I've mm -hmm. had braids done, and she was like, "Hey, you wasted my time and my money." I get that, but no, wow. she was really mad. That, that's why we can't play the audio because yeah. she was swearing up yeah. a storm. Yeah. I used to do braids in college as you know a supplement. It takes a long. It takes, Three yes, to five. Fine. I mean, yeah. this was like yes. before we had like the micro braids. Yep. It's like the original braids yep. and that hair, that synthetic hard yeah. hair, and it would take you like five, six hours. You know what I'm saying, sister? Yeah. The original yeah. ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm telling yeah. you, and I was in college. I would get, I would get my money up front because I ain't trust yep. people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, and to go beyond that, not only does it take <laughs> hours of your painstaking time to sit there, and you know, ladies, it takes a long time to stand on your, your feet, fingers go cracking. through it, you don't even take lunch breaks sometimes, and a woman who owns a salon like that, she had to go through cosmetology school, which if anybody knows, Well, wait, 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 everybody didn't go to cosmetology. We just braided. Yes, you. this is true, this is true. Yes. But for most services, when you have a salon, oh you need to have your license.
and show it. So I'm just we don't, we don't, we in the black community. Oh, right? Some of us, we yeah. just brave. Hey, we Asians, we Asians just as cutthroat. Don't even go there. We put that right. head over the seat. But I you know, got many my nails done in someone's garage. Trust Wait, me. Wait, you guys, I get what you're but, saying. But I'm just saying, when you go but, in, not intending to pay the person for the hour and time and experience that they put forth in yeah. you, you are a con artist. And that's not yeah, okay. You're a thief. Yes. But you guys, two wrongs don't make a right in this situation because the way she was cutting that, I mean, she could have poked her eye out. She could have done. All she and had to do was look. She, she, wait, she yeah, was you get still, look, look, she was, look, look, to me, you she was taking her time. Her. She no, had she's like too a, angry. Look, she shouldn't she be handling still, it like she that. She was still making, throwing it well, down. No, because it down. she can actually, the client can actually turn around and actually sue her and yeah. say it was assault. So what I think the, the best thing uh, no, she that should have called the police is, and then she said that would have been fair. She said that she was, she had a little African accent. She was like, I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call the police. But she could, she should have just took her to small claims court or something. Nah, nah. No, okay. no, no. That's that the best work. way of yeah. handling it. Guys, guys, if just this saying. happened to you, would you stay seated in that seat no. and just let that? So, no. okay, okay. Thank so you. this is my point. We just watched the video. The lady is sitting there allowing her hair to get cut off. So clearly, there, do you get what I'm saying? So the woman supposedly told her, these are your options. Either I'm going to call the police on you or let me cut it out. Like, you're not going to leave right, here right. with the hair done. Like, you're, okay? Or she didn't hit... Like, she should have paid for it, obviously, but now that she doesn't have the money to pay for it, the woman said, these are your options. You either let me call the police or I'm cutting the braids out of here. The girl gladly sat her butt down and said, we'll start cutting them out. She sat there. You... I'm sorry, I'd be like, call the police. But yeah, right, right, right. I'm right. cutting my hair off. Right. But right. what I'm trying to understand is, how did we get to this point? Did the lady not... How you sit so down you, in somebody's yes, seat? Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, like, no, you got that's no That's what they're saying online. You guys got to read these okay. comments. This is hysterical. What are they saying? We got, at Zay Monet said, braids aren't cheap. Who would sit for six hours Thank plus you. getting them done knowing they can't pay? At Artesia Loves Goat said, wow, seems like she's yelling at her too. Honestly, this is really sad and mean. Why not offer her some kind of payment plan or something instead of humiliating her like that? Because they ain't gonna pay. Now, now I That's agree. why. <laughs> you like, you ain't gonna pay. My, my bigger issue with this is that it was filmed and put online as well. Because this, no, I think you, they did that as a lesson. Because you gonna learn today. Yeah. Come on. The internet is so that you can learn. You know no, what I would have probably I, done? Tell what me. would you have done? I probably... Because somewhere there was a conversation being had. Yes. I would have just left it like it was, unfinished, yes. yeah. and just let her just get out of my life. I would have just, I wouldn't have probably taken it out. I just would have left it because it wasn't completely done. Yeah. And maybe that would have been it. I mean, I, I some, well, there are people that are the professionals are saying that it was unprofessional. Yeah, of for course. And that's, yes. that's yes. all yes. I'm saying. That's what but you're saying. Yeah, that's unprofessional. Because she thinks she's yeah. mad now. If that woman did turn around and whip a, a, a lawsuit out of her, she would be real and pissed to have to pay absolutely. for something that she didn't cause. But absolutely. I will say, I have a lot of family members who own nail salons in the Bay Area. And there's a lot of situations when after, I make sure they, they do this, after they uh, reciprocate the understanding of you want an extra polish, you want an extra layer, you want extra gems, it costs something. After you go, yeah, yeah, it's cool, you do it. Then you you do the deed and you give them the full set. And there's actually women who are like, no, nah, I'm not gonna pay for that, I didn't know. And they walk out with their manicure and you can't stop them. Like they're, you know, they're not people that That's are like have so security wet. at the door or have glocks right. or anything. It's not like that. So honestly, I mean, you call me a petty ass bitch and because if you sat in my salon and you didn't pay for the nail job, I'd be like, no nail for you. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it. My time. Man. I no. mean, people should just be honest. You yes, know what I mean? Because sometimes terrible. you can go, you say, I really need to get my hair done. There are a lot of, um, I just want to say there are a lot of braiders and people that they will work with you. Yes. All yes, you got to do yes. is just, you know, tell the them, hey, can plan. I pay? I can think I if do you that? explained up front and just said, look, I'm here, I need to get my hair done. I don't have the money for it. Can we work something out? That's way better than sitting there and getting that hack job. That's yep. crazy. I don't know. I, I want to know how that. she took them braids out, though. Do you see what I'm saying? Because she cut them out. <laughs> no, I mean, when she got yeah. home, she had to deal with, with all of that. Yeah. Yep. The lesson is don't lie and say you want to get your hair done, but you don't have the money.